the deal. Talent agents are there for one thing. It is to negotiate contracts for their talent. That's it. And a lot of times, big wig casting directors will send work out only to agencies. They will not put them out on other casting sites for everybody to see and for actors to self-submit or models to self-submit because they just get so bombarded, all right? And they're really big popular projects. And with technology being what it is today, casting directors are overwhelmed. They used to maybe get 100 people show up for an audition, but now anyone and everyone can submit a self-tape, right? Or submit photos digitally. So your agent's there for that purpose. If they are trying to do all these other things, they're not really being a talent agent. And it's hard because super reputable talent agents will not need to make money off of other stuff. See what I mean? So yes, that one agency that I mentioned is booking work for their talent, but why are they not booking enough work for their talent that they have to charge consistent fees for workshops? And talent agents are not supposed to be acting coaches and they should not be working deals with acting coaches and photographers to come in and then they take a cut of it. That's not okay. Um, they can give you references all day, every day, but they should tell you as an agency, hey, we do not have an affiliation or here's some of our most booked talent and you can get in touch with them to see what photographers they use, what um, acting coaches and whatnot they go to, right? So mark off anyone and everyone. You can see I'm really passionate about it. Do not even mess with an agency that charges you fees up front. If they get the fee directly for anything or there's a consistent fee being charged that is not from your paycheck, from work that they negotiated for you, get away, run away.